Hello guys, Morgan Stecky here and today I wanted to share with you guys a couple mistakes that I made since I'm staking silver. And while I'm doing this I'm sharing uh, a couple uh, of Dutch Indian coins that I have picked up uh, yesterday. Beautiful coins. So yeah, I'm staking for a little over a year now and there have been uh, some mistakes I made. And the biggest one, in my opinion, is that I started to buy high premium coins way too quickly. So what do I mean by this? Well, you can buy collector coins, high premium stuff, you if, you, if you like those coins, if you want to have them in your collection. But I came to realize that, that it's better to, um, to create a good foundation first with low premium coins with coins silver coins that are close to spot and uh, yeah and stack those coins to build build your foundation to has a, have a, a lot of ounces so if spot ever goes higher or back to that 50 dollar range then you have a, a good size stack that you can profit from it you know and why do I want to profit from silver the only reason why I want to profit from silver is to buy more silver that's the only reason that I have this is a quarter uh, by the way Dutch Indian quarter beautiful so yeah that is my biggest mistake and what I'm trying to do now is actually selling those, uh, sell those uh, high premium stuff and put them back in the foundation. And I have a strategy how I think I, I, I uh, should do that. But I also learned that selling coins is not that easy. So if you have never sold a coin in your life, I will suggest you to sell some coins and I'm not talking about coins that are close to spot but I'm talking about high premium coins because the if you want to sell those coins you need to find the right buyer and maybe because maybe it's because I live in a small country and uh, there are uh, not that many buyers interested in those coins maybe I don't know that could play a factor but I also ship outside the Netherlands even to the United States and have I haven't priced my items high actually I probably gonna lose money on them but I don't mind yeah of course I do mind but sometimes you need to take your loss and uh, move on but I have been thinking a lot about a better strategy and uh, I shared a little bit in a different video but uh, yeah I want to try and buy what I think are winner coins and sell them eventually uh, when the when if they rise in price and when they do uh, then uh, of course put those profits back in another coin and move on and why do I want to do this is because to grow my own stack build capital if that makes sense build capital grow my capital and when it, it's large enough you can buy let's say 500 ounces of th or 1000 ounces in one buy so you don't have to buy 20 ounces here, 10 ounces there, you know. It has its benefits because also here in the Netherlands you can't evo avoid shipping uh, fees. So you will profit from that also. So yeah, that is my biggest mistake that I have made uh, since I'm uh, staking silver. I do love those premium coins, guys. I do love them. And some of them I won't sell... Uh, surely wants uh, like my half ounce uh, proof uh, lunar one proof coins but 
some other ones which you can easily get if you buy it doesn't matter if you buy them when they release or a year from now or two years from now but uh, yeah I'm selling those I'm gonna put them back in uh, something else and uh, grow my stack so my goal is still the same the only goal I have to is to try and leave my kids by the way I have a son for the most maybe uh, some of you didn't know but I have another child on the way so uh, you know <laughs> share that uh, thing also with you guys but uh, yeah I want to leave my kids with something that my parents couldn't leave us nothing because they had nothing and I don't mind uh, because uh, yeah it was a different uh, situation uh, for them but they gave me a great uh, upbringing and a uh, lot of uh, knowledge i learned from them so uh, i couldn't ask more uh, uh, from my parents but uh, yeah my only goal is uh, to leave my children something that they can use for their own children maybe if they grow up a little i can uh, make them uh, stack silver also <laughs> and gold and teach them uh, those stuff but uh, yeah my son is just uh, it's not even uh, two years old yet so uh, you can teach him uh, those things yet but yeah that is uh, my biggest pro uh, mistake and problem that i have now because i need to get rid rid of those coins but I learned people don't want to buy them at least maybe it's the time of the year maybe people uh, because of cryptos aren't uh, that, m that much uh, interested uh, in buying or maybe it's my own fault which I think is 70 or 80 percent uh, high chance maybe I bought the wrong coins but yeah but I did buy those coins not intending to sell because my thinking was differently back then and and I didn't learn uh, as much as I'm still learning now you know I, I think I, I'm learning now way more than I was even a couple months ago so uh, yeah maybe if you're just uh, starting to stack silver of course this is my ideas and opinions and strategies and uh, wh whatever but i will uh, i would uh, recommend that you build up a good stack before you even try to uh, enter the collector's market because if you buy collectors collector items uh, to make a profit then you sure surely know uh, uh, you surely have to know what you are doing because it is a different game and it's not for everyone uh, i believe so all right guys i uh, think i already made a long video so i'm gonna end it for now please like comment subscribe and uh, let me know what you think and uh, until next time guys thank you very much for watching